All right, we're now joined by our third place finisher and NASCAR Nationwide Series points leader Austin Dillon, driver of the number three, Advocare Chevrolet. Austin, you hold an eight point lead over Sam Hornis Jr. heading into next week's race at Homestead. Just talk a little bit about your race and your hard fought third place finish. It was a good race. You know, we had a good car all weekend long. Um, that's what you want to do is come out and, and run strong. And guys did a good job on pit road. Uh, we made no mistakes. And we do that one more week. We have a, a championship. And that's uh, for all of us. You know, we work as a team together and, and go out there and run well. All right. We'll open for questions for Austin. All right. Let's start right back here in the back with Michael. Michael Knight, Arizona Republic. Austin, after 100 consecutive green, green lap run, there was these many sequence of yellows in the second half of the race. Did the track get considerably slicker, or was that just guys trying to go too hard on restarts on hard tires? Yeah, I think it's just guys' cars not handling well. I mean, these things don't handle well at all out here. Um, it's, it's tough to get a car to feel good. You know, even even though my car was pretty good and I finished second, it, it didn't drive well. It just it doesn't feel good out there. I'm on top of the new pavement, and, and with the tire, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't doesn't drive well so it makes you uh, have to toughen up and go out there and drive these things all right we'll go to Stan Austin in the in the in the final 40 laps there can you can you think of anything you could have done to your car to give you that extra four or five hundredths of a second that that would have given you a better chance at running for the win I don't know. He's so fast there for 10 laps. It's tough to, to think of what it would be. You know, I just needed to turn better. I needed to drive off the corner better. I need a little bit of everything. Um, it's tough to, to say. All right. Okay. Let's come up front to Reed. Uh, Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. Were you upset with Justin because of the way he raced under the circumstances there? Yeah. I'm not upset. I mean, we've raced hard all year long against each other. It's just. I don't know. I, I don't think like that. I guess it's just he, he's racing hard for top five, and and we've raced each other cleaner since the in, end of the year. So that's good. It's just uh, we're both running for the same manufacturer and trying to win a championship for Chevrolet. So that's why I, I look at it. But um, you know, it's, it's part of it. He raced hard, and he's trying to get uh, top five in points. All right, we'll get up to front to Chris. Chris Knight, CatchFence.com. Austin, do you know what car you're taking to Homestead? next weekend and where you ran it last ran it at charlotte car 102 